Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. Welcome back to another round of candle reviews. We are going to be going through three different candles today, so buckle up. <laughs> um, up first, we have a fragrance from Nest. This is the scent Autumn Plum. This was actually originally released last year, and I wanted to pick it up last year, but it sold out so fast. I couldn't believe that like I was not able to get my hands on this last year, but they seem to do a pretty limited release of it, I feel like. So they decided to bring it back this year, which isn't always the case for Nest. Sometimes they will have a fragrance around for just a year. Sometimes it'll be around for a year or two. And sometimes with their staples, like the Birchwood Pine and Holiday, which are two of my staples from Nest, um, those seem to stick around for years. So I was really happy to see this one pop back up because I it sounded amazing um, when I first read the notes uh, upon its first release. Uh, and then my friend Kevin told me, yeah, you should really get this. It's totally worth it. So I actually purchased this one off of the Nest website. There is a set that contains the Autumn Plum along with the pumpkin chai and i believe it's 76 dollars for the two um so i went ahead and just ordered that particular duo because i i always love me some pumpkin chai and i'll certainly be burning that in the month of november it's also a great um thanksgiving candle as well so um that's how i finally got my hands on this one um there are going to be some pluses and a few, I would say like minor annoyances in this particular review. And the thing about nest candles is that either they burn really well for me or they like struggle from the get go. <laughs> And this one, for some reason, is one of the ones that has just kind of struggled from the get-go, and I have had to, like, baby it and correct it almost after every single burn. Now, I didn't um, fix the issue that I will get to here in a minute before this burn because I wanted you guys to be able to see it, but I will tell you how I have been correcting it. So um, before we get to that, let's go through the usuals. Um, so let's talk about the fragrance itself. So I'm gonna, I have the box here, by the way, the packaging for Nest Anything is always beautiful and top notch. This is obviously the single wick in the 8.1 ounce size. By the way, you don't just have to purchase this from the Nest website. Um, you can also actually get this one from Ulta, so if you'd like to get some points. Um, I will link it in a few places down below because it's certainly available at a variety of vendors. So, wild plum and cinnamon are wrapped in the warmth of patchouli leaf and cashmere wood to capture the sweet woody aroma of freshly fallen autumn leaves. So I had heard that this is very similar to Bath and Body Works Peppered Plum. And I will say, um, I actually, I have one upstairs. Um, I do think that they definitely share some similarities. I don't think this is a dupe of the Peppered Plum, but if you liked Peppered Plum, you're gonna like this. And I believe, how many times can I say Peppered Plum? Um, I believe that the Bath and Body Works version is coming back from what I saw. Correct me if I'm wrong, I am I'm really not sticking my nose into very much Bath and Body Works stuff because I don't know I just I kind of get annoyed with them <laughs> even though I still buy the candles I know but um yeah so I do think they share some similarities for sure um the plum in this is just really really beautiful it's definitely a perfumey fragrance so it's a perfumey fruity fragrance I wouldn't even say fruity perfumey because I really get more perfume than I do fruit <laughs> so um, I want to make that distinction but the plum is really, really beautiful. I'll bite. It's not like a super like edible plum because of that perfumey note to it. There is cinnamon in here and it is a softer, very pretty cinnamon. It's not red hot cinnamon, um, which is something that I avoid like the plague. I just, I hate red hot cinnamon, anything. Um, and then as far as the patchouli, the patchouli that's in here is like the really good kind of patchouli. I know when a lot of people see that, 
um, particular fragrance note, it's it can be a complete turnoff to them almost instantly. I do think there's a difference between a beautiful perfumey patchouli and a like that dirty hippie like smells like you know the dirt <laughs> type of patchouli. Um, this is definitely more of a perfumey patchouli, uh, very elevated, very sophisticated, totally the type of patchouli that I want in my perfume fragrances. So, um, and then the cashmere wood is definitely, there is like a slight woodiness to this, but it does have that very also typical like warm cashmere sweater type vibe as well. Like there's this certain scent that, uh, and Homeworks had a cashmere candle as well. And it's like, it's just this musky, like perfuminess that it just makes whatever like it's mixed into smell just way more fancy. <laughs> I feel like that's the easiest way for me to put it. It just really elevates the fragrance and again, turns it into a more perfumey take on a, fruity cinnamon combination as far as like this being a fall fragrance i think this is an absolutely beautiful fall fragrance but you know what this is also totally the type of scent that i would burn like throughout the holidays as well in fact i am tempted to get another one of these um but <laughs> There is one thing that makes me nervous about purchasing another one, and that is that this one has been struggling with the burn. Um, let's let's do strength and throw, and then we'll talk about the issues because I think the strength and throw on this are pretty on par, I guess, for most of my nest candles, at least in this one wick 8.1 .1 ounce format. So I put the strength of this at about uh, like six. Um, definitely not a seven, but I would put it at a solid six. Like it has a nice medium strength to it. Um, I don't expect a lot more than that to be totally honest out of a one week candle anyway. Um, you know, there are like the nest holiday fragrance is a little bit stronger and I certainly get a little bit more oomph out of that, but this is right like on par with where it should be for the size. So not mad at that at all. And the throw is also about like a six as well. I can certainly smell it in the area where it's burning. It starts to kind of travel into the other rooms a little bit, but it certainly doesn't fill the entirety of my house. So that being said, I think the strength and throw are quite good for the size of the candle. And I feel like a lot of people, when they look at the price point, because um, if you're not gonna buy it in the set of two, the just like regular retail price of the single um, 8.1 ounce candles is currently $46. So pretty spendy for one candle, obviously. Um, and here, let's get into the burn here. I'm gonna come up and lift the camera up so that you guys can see. Can you see what it's doing? Okay, so I obviously just lit this not long before the review, but that tunneling that you see there has been there from day one. And I keep correcting it with the, um, before each burn, I have been correcting it by putting it underneath my candle lamp. And for whatever reason, it does not want to pull out to the edges. Now, I have not been trimming the wicks because I need as much wick length as I can manage to keep because, um, you know, I am melting that wax on the side and that definitely, when that melts, it raises the wax level and wants to bury the wick a little bit. So, um, yeah, that's the, the flame is quite tall right now. And normally I would have, if there were no problems, I would have trimmed this wick just a little bit, but, um, because I'm going to have to melt it, I, I didn't want to trim the wick too short because you can, <laughs> if you trim your wicks too short with these nest candles, they certainly, um, will, they will get puny wick syndrome on you real fast. So do be careful with your trimming. Uh, this is now it's not listed on here anymore. I think at one point this was like a coconut blend type of wax. And I will say it's usually the coconut blends that I tend to like have 
tunnel troubling with. So I don't think the wax formula has changed, but they're now calling it just a proprietary wax formulation. At least that's what it's listed at on the Ulta website. Um, so for what it's worth, <laughs> I'm not sure what the proprietary wax is at this point. Now next to this candle, I'm gonna go ahead at this point and I'm gonna put this over. This is just a little candle chimney. Um, I will link where you can find these. These can be helpful if you don't necessarily want to get like a hurricane to put your candles in. You can just get one of these chimneys here. They're obviously open on both sides and you just very easily slide it over. Um, I just cleaned this yesterday. This had, mm, this definitely had some soot on it. So um, this isn't the cleanest burn that I've gotten from a nest candle, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, normally I don't really deal with sooting from them. So I don't know if that's because I haven't been able to trim the wicks like normal. I'm, I'm not entirely sure, but that has been a concern. But I will tell you, even with this chim this candle chimney here, I still obviously have room on either side for good airflow, so you don't ever want to restrict the airflow of your candles. But even with putting this thing on, um, it still wants to tunnel. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I feel like this is a tough review because I just, I love the fragrance so much. And this doesn't happen with every single nest candle that I have ever had. In fact, the vast majority do quite well. So, but every once in a while, you know, you're gonna get a little bit of a, um, of a dud, I think from any candle company. And I'm hoping that this one here is just a dud for me. So I'm willing to give it another chance because it's such a beautiful, perfumey, fruity fragrance. And I mean, Kevin was right. Like it, it smells like a million bucks. I would love, and I, I say this about a few candles, but I would love for this particular one to, um, to be available in the Nest perfume line. I just, I think it would sell really well. <laughs> um, and I would love to see Laura's take on like the botanical print that she would use on the back of a of the bottle. If you've ever purchased a Nest perfume, you know that um, Laura Slatkin like uses these really beautiful botanical prints as the background um, for her perfumes, and they're just stunning. Like a lot of them, I would totally want as like wallpaper in my house. <laughs> kind of obsessed with wallpaper right now and I think that a lot of those prints would just be so pretty but anyway I'm still gonna give this a thumbs up I'm not gonna give it two thumbs up because obviously the burn Ooh, you okay buddy <laughs> yakking on a bone we're fine um, I think the burn quality of this kind of prevents the two thumbs up but that being said I like the fragrance enough to try another one so do let me know in the comments down below whether you have had a burn issue with this particular fragrance or not. Um, I'm gonna keep going. Um, I will certainly finish this, probably not before the end of the month, but definitely, you know, by the beginning of November. And um, yeah, I'll let you guys know in my November empties how it did towards the end, so. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Check out the description box for links on where to purchase this one. And um, thanks so much for taking the time to watch. Please subscribe if you're new. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.